Hi guys, it's Monica. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with a makeup tutorial and it is on this look right here. Super, super simple and so just fresh. I really focus on the skin and the lips and that is it. I want the lips to be a statement for everything else to be a little bit dialed back. Of course, I still have to have my bling and highlight. That's never going to change, okay? But other than that, um, yeah, I'm using a few products from that Born Pretty store that I talked about a month ago. Um, I did want to touch base on the shipping. It does take a little bit, but I can guarantee you it arrives. But I honestly don't mind the shipping because everything is so cheap and really good. Like this foundation I'm wearing. Oh, my skin's so smooth. Look at this. You like, it's flawless. Look. Just look at how it's a BB cream and it just, it sits on the skin perfectly it looks so good i love this bb cream so because of their inexpensive prices i don't exactly mind the shipping but it does take a little bit anyways so let's just move on to the makeup look i'm showing you this look right here i have a daytime lip and a nighttime lip for my intro right now i actually combine both lip colors because i just want to be funky but you guys will see it um the three products from the store are the nighttime lip which is the long lasting matte lip gloss from magical halo and then the um, foundation or BB cream I'm wearing, which is from Color Cosmetics Expert, right here. And then the shimmer that I have in my eyes and everything is here by the brand Nanda, and it's an eyeshadow. So I'm going to be showing you those three products, and along with everything else, I will have links to everything in the description box so that you can find all the information. Any questions you might have, leave them in the comments. But other than that, let's just dive into the video. So as I mentioned before, we are mainly focusing on the skin. It's going to be a nice, fresh, quicker look than normal. So I'm going with my e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. I will be doing two primers today. Well, a mist and a primer. But I spray my face with Pixie by Petra. This is just refreshing. If you have oily skin, I don't recommend it because it is like an oil for your face. And then I'm going in with the Hydrating Primer from e.l.f. I've really been liking this lately. And we're going to let that dry down a little. This is the Pixie by Petra Correction Concentrate Brightening Peach. I am taking this Color Cosmetics Expert Water Replenishing BB Cream. It's nude makeup. It's just a BB cream. It's not going to be super high coverage. We're just going to get a very natural look today, and this is the shade 105. By the way, this is off of that Born a Pretty store that I talked about, I think it was like a month ago. Um, this is another one of those products from that store. I've really been liking all the products I've gotten from there. I'm just bouncing this into my skin with my beauty blender. matches me perfectly it's a very wet um, BB cream but I like it so refresh re it's so refreshing this is mainly water-based so it's gonna be really, really really hydrating so if you're dry this will be your best friend I am going to conceal but I'm not gonna do a ton it's just a teeny bit to cover whatever dark circles are left I'm literally just going to go like that. Like usually I go all the way down, but today. Right, I am going to go ahead and lightly dust my face with powder just to set everything. All right, so for a day like this, I go with really natural brows. I didn't use powder. I literally just outlined my brows and then just filled in a couple of areas like this and then, you know, combed it out. And that is all I'm doing for my brows. So I only want a slight contour. I don't want anything super intense. Um, 
So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this brush. When you use a natural hair, or I call it hair brush, it doesn't pack on the color as much so you get a much lighter contour or bronzing. So I will go into this one. And that's all I'm doing basically, just to bring a little bit of dimension back into my face. And that's it. Like two seconds. And that is all the contour I'm doing for this kind of look. Oh, by the way, this is the crown brush that I received my Ipsy bag. I've been loving it for this kind of contour. It's super subtle. And then you do want to be balanced, so I'm just dragging it a little bit down. And then that's all my contour. For blush, I don't, I don't, for blush, I want to do something that doesn't really stand out too much. So I'm taking the Wet n Wild Ombre Blush in the, um, my Thai buy you a drink. I've been using this a lot lately. I've been really into just like a soft blush. And I'm just going to not too much color. I just don't want it to look flat, you know what I'm saying? And then that is all I'm doing for that. We're really focused on looking just youthful. My skin, you guys, I love this stuff so much. Like my skin feels like baby soft. Anyway, so now I'm going to do some highlighting. For highlighting, I've been really obsessed, as I talked about my favorites, this Mercury 3 highlighter, and um, I'm going to go with this one because I just, I can't put it down. It's just so good, and it's only like 10 bucks. Because even on the days that I like to be subtle, I always have to have my glow. That's like the one thing that I will never, ever change. And that's it. You don't even need a lot of product, and just boom, and right down the nose. It's so good, you guys. Such a good. I. It's a little messy, but it is so worth it, especially with bare skin. All right. So just for the eyes, I'm only doing two colors. I'm doing a crease color, which is going to be soft brown from Mac. This is just the everyday blending shade, and this is just so that my lid, my um, eyes aren't totally blank, and I'm literally just going like that and that's it i'm not really focused too much on having you know an intense eyeshadow look this is just to give my eyes dimension and a little bit of color and what i like about these looks is it's so quick and you don't have to be totally precise that's it all right, and then for a little bit of brightening on the eyes, I am taking this by Nanda eyeshadow. This is in the shade number J01. It's just like a frosty white color. And it's a little messy, but I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. And I am taking my large shader brush from Sigma. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone. And you only have to touch just a little bit. Like, this goes a long way. Like, and I'm going to go over it to get away this super intenseness for the brow bone. But then, I'm going to pack a little bit on my lid. And this isn't going to give, like, a lot of pigment. Look, it's just giving, like, a soft... A soft light like this and then I'm gonna take whatever is left and I'm gonna put it on my inner corner and as you can see like it didn't add a lot of intensity to my eyes it just brightened them and it's just such a simple eye look and I love it so much okay so for eyeliner I'm literally just tight lighting um, and the reason for this is just to darken up my lash line just so that you know my eyes don't look totally just that it looks like I have some sort of eyelashes. Okay, this is the L'Oreal Luminous Smoldering Eyeliner. I'm just smudging that on my lash line. I'm putting it in my waterline. See how much of a difference that makes? Like, I didn't do any outlining on it, I just... And 
and that's it just to darken everything up just to kind of it kind of opens up the eyes a little bit so that's why i like to do that and then i'm just going to do a couple of coats of mascara and i'll be right back the last and final part of this look is the lips so what i like about this because this isn't like a just everyday makeup look this is supposed to be something if you want to look super natural but you want to look you still want to look put together and everything like that if you're going out to dinner or something like that so i have a daytime lip and a more nighttime lip so i'm going to show you the daytime lip first i'm just taking this uh essence lip liner in the shade uh uh in the nude The daytime lip, I have chosen the Manicadar. This is, um, it's like a liquid lipstick and it's in the shade Lucky. And then, of course, you're going to go ahead and set your face. And this is it for the daytime look. I love the lip. I love how simple everything is. It's still bright. It's a very, I'd say, simple and pretty for the winter time, and I love it so much. But you guys know I love a dark lip, so we're going on to the nighttime version of this. For the nighttime look, we're going with a more, like, deeper... Gray, whoa, a deeper like grayish purple. So I'm taking this plum lip liner from Ruby Kisses. It looks like super red on me, but anyways. So for the lip, I am taking this, it's called, the brand is Magical Halo Matte Long Lasting Lip Gloss. So it's not like a lipstick, it's gonna be like the same wearing time is say the um, LA Girl matte lip glosses or the NYX liquid suede one. It's gonna be about that length. Anyways, this is in the shade number 36. It's just like a deep plumish purple. And I'm going to be applying this one. Oh, by the way, this one is also off that website, the Born Pretty Store, same with that shimmer that I used here. Oh, I love this color. The reason that I chose this shade is because the highlight I'm using has a pink undertone and then the shimmer has like a more pinkish undertone, purple undertone. So this went perfect. I didn't want to use like a red because it, would, it wouldn't go right. It just wouldn't go right. It wouldn't look good in my opinion. So I thought this one suited perfectly. And then if you want to really amp up this one, you can do false lashes. But as you guys know, I'm taking a break from false lashes. So I'm not going to be showing you false lashes, but um, you can go ahead and do that. I sometimes love just a super simple eye and a where you focus on the skin and the lips and it's just so fresh looking. Anyways, so that is me for this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful or useful. I will have links to all the products down below as, as well as a link to the Born Pretty store. I do have a coupon code for the Born Pretty store off anything that's full priced. But once again, this store, everything is so affordable. Like, I think the lips, I think the lip stain was like two, three bucks. The foundation was like four dollars. And then the little eyeshadow slash highlight shimmer thing was two dollars. Like, can you just, <laughs> so inexpensive and i love it um also check out the link to the highlighter i love it so much and this lady of mercury 3 is so sweet anyway so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big old thumbs up comment down below be sure to hit that subscribe button be sure to subscribe to my vlog channel i'm going to save that for the next few videos um so that everyone knows i have a vlog channel and yeah other than that i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and you're enjoying your february and i will see you guys in my next video Bye bye